a nice relaxing early morning tour through the historical center of Guanajuato, Mexico. Look at Mattel, you can hear the river. You no, know, believe me, I was, uh, I was smelling it before I was hearing it. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. I'm with Susanna of Caco Mixley Guided Tours and this will be a bicycle tour of the historical center of Guanajuato, Mexico. Long distance hikes! But having a monkey steal from my camera bag a kayak with an inexperienced kayaker. Borders on budgets. <laughs> That's what went through my head when pulling out the camera here. We are here above the old river of Guanajuato. This old river is very important in the city because when the Spanish start to work on destruction of the silver and the gold, they were uh, working with the mines in the top of the hills, but they need a lot of water. So next to the river, we will find a lot of old mining haciendas. Haciendas mean a mining plant. They were using mercury, so through the mercury they will separate the gold, the silver from the other things they don't need. Cuando comienza la historia moderna de Guanajuato. It was in the middle of the 16th century that the Spanish discovered the silver in one of the mines in Guanajuato, in Mineral de la Luz, and then in Mineral de Rayas. So the city was developed in two ways. Destruction was happening in the top of the hills of Guanajuato, and the process, as I was telling you, was happening next to the river. You can imagine maybe that there was a river here in the old times, an open river, and they were taking the water in order to use for the mining process. With the uh, tranquility of these past couple of scenes, this has certainly put me at ease because when the story started with its traffic, I thought we would be cycling with cars all day. We stop at the uh, Callejón de la Cabecita, Alley of the Small Head. Uh, Susana, ¿qué son los característicos de los callejones aquí en Guanajuato? And for example, when we have rain in season, it's, a, it's an old spectacle with the water running out the, the callejones. And always, for example, you have to, to go and get the shopping, uh, have the water, have the gas. You need a lot of people to, to help you. As you can see, it's not an accessible city, but it's an enjoyable city. Sometimes in the afternoon, the people just go out, spend time together, hang out, and enjoy the city. As we uh, make our way from the residential alleys, we pass through uh, Truco Callejon with its uh, umbrellas and uh, we're on our way back to the uh, Centro Historico and the Plaza de la Paz. ¿Qué es el significado de la Basílica? Here we are in our most important church, the Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Guanajuato. Here we have our Lady of Guanajuato and we celebrate her 
each month of May. Right now, actually, all the colors that we see is also related with some festivity that we love so much, that is Viernes de Dolores. La letra G por Quijante y también Guanajuato. Uh, Susana, ¿qué es el edificio rojo y amarillo? That is the church of San Roque. San Roque is part of our neighborhood of San Fernando and San Roque. And here we are in the Plaza de la Paz with the building that used to be the Congress and also with the building that used to be the house of the Condorum. Here we have, Mateo, some of the two most important buildings in town. The first one is the granary, it's like a big silo, we call in Spanish Alondiga de Granaditas, and it's very important because the War of the Independence started right here, with the Pipila. And the other building that you see right there is the Mercado Hidalgo, the most important market in town. One century of difference between these two buildings. And por qué las casas tienen sus colores muy ricos? Mm -hmm. In the old times we used to, to paint our houses with the available colors, you know, the red, yellow, certain clay, kind of. But recently, since the chemical industry has developed all these different colors, we use them. We are Mexicans, we are Latins, we love color. So, ¿Qué es la historia sobre el Mercado Hidalgo? The Mercado Hidalgo was inaugurated during the times of Porfirio Díaz. Uh, this is exactly the 16th of September 1910. For me it's interesting that also two months later the Revolución Mexicana started in Puebla, Mexico. is fantastic. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From Guanajuato, Mexico, on two wheels, thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. And uh, they've got stop in English. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't stop. And the crossing looks safe. Okay, not bad. This is the baseball stadium of Guanajuato. And uh, I love the left field wall. It's made entirely out of rocks. And yes, with the left field wall made out of rocks over our shoulder. With uh, much appreciation, uh, Susanna y Caco Mixley. Eco tours throughout Guanajuato. Don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to Borders on Budgets. Your subscription is much appreciated. It helps the channel grow. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this tour, this bicycle tour of Guanajuato. Adios.